Alrighty. Yes. That's all right. That's all right. I don't know how you want to. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just clip it. Sure. Sorry about that. No, no, no. That's all right. <laughs> Your clip ain't locking my jeans here. All righty. Good afternoon. Are we ready? I'll go ahead and introduce again uh, who we are up here. Uh, I'm Pope County Sheriff Shane Jones. Uh, to my right is Major uh, Chief Deputy Blake Wilson. Uh, to my left is prosecuting attorney Jeff Phillips. And back behind him is my public information officer, Sergeant Rodney McNeese. We'd like to thank you all for coming uh, here today for this tragic incident that, that uh, we have been investigating here in our county uh, since yesterday. Kind of start off again from the front. On December the 25th, shortly after 5 p.m., Pope County Sheriff's, uh, Sheriff's deputies responded to an address in the 5100 block of Pine Ridge Road on a report of a possible homicide. On deputies' arrival, they located five individuals deceased in the home. All the victims were females, with two being adult, three juveniles, with their ages ranging from eight years old to 50 years of age, and all believed to be related. Now at this time, uh, we believe this is an isolated incident and do not feel that there is any continued danger to the local public. Uh, the bodies have been turned over to the Pope County Coroner's Office and will be sent to the Arkansas Crime Lab for further investigation. Uh, just want to say that this is still an active investigation with the Pope County Sheriff's Office investigators. Uh, we're still processing the evidence at the scene with the assistance of the Arkansas State Police and the Arkansas State Crime Lab. We do anticipate this being an in-depth investigation that will span many days in an effort to collect and process all evidence on the scene. So that's about it right now that uh, I can give you further on this. Uh, I'm able to answer any questions that you may have. Yes, ma'am. This is only strictly a homicide. We're not investigating like suicide. We don't know right now, but yes, we 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 don't know. It's still early in the investigation. Is there a suspect? We don't we don't have one. We don't have one at this time. We don't believe that there's. We believe that this could be an isolated incident within the family members of the home. Do we know um, who called 911 or how the police came to be there? A family member uh, uh, came over uh, and and found the found all the victims. So a family were they supposed to be having like a Christmas uh, celebration at the house, and that's why the family member came over? That I don't know. That I can't I can't speak on. Were there any gunshot wounds? Uh, right now, it's too early to tell, but we believe that that some some are gunshot yes but we do believe right now the way that is the investigation is early but we do believe that this is domestic related possibly can you talk about the role of the arkansas state police or what part are they in the investigation? well they have been very helpful uh they they they've been out there at the crime scene with us they were uh we they we have three investigators stationed here at, at, at our agency, and uh, they work side by side with our investigators. So they've been a pivotal role in the investigation. Are you able to share with us the victim's name? No, ma'am, not at this time. We're still uh, speaking with family family members, uh, trying to contact everybody that we can. Are you able to give the ages of the three juveniles? Uh, just. Uh, just like I said, the, the age ranges from 50 down to, uh, to eight years of age. Do you know how long they were deceased before they were found? No, sir. That, that'll be left up to the state crime lab. In your own words, is this something that is rare that's happening in this community? Uh, it's, it's rare anywhere, uh, especially uh, 
just the situation that it's in. This is a tragic incident, and just we just need to pray for a family that's been devastated. Do we have any suspicion of the motive? No, no, not right now. It's still early. And that's an answer we might not ever get. So we don't believe that there is a suspect out and about the public? No, ma'am, not at this time. Any further questions? Okay, well, thank you all for coming. I wish I could give you more, but it's, it's still ongoing at this time. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs>